we're here at OAC to try to live the transition we are working so hard to manifest. We're in this era of climate change and peak everything, peak oil, peak water, peak population. The question is, what do we do? And we're hunkered down at OAC at the regional scale, thinking that's where the change is gonna happen. Not just the Bay Area, all over the world, it's local areas, regional scale, that are gonna lead the transition. We wanna mm. learn from it, demonstrate it, take criticism, and then move it into the policy arena, make social change that's gonna loosen up the barriers for the whole country to make this transition we so need. Permaculture design helps us understand how we fit into this transition. We've been doing permaculture here since the early 1990s. It's one of the oldest permaculture centers in the United States. It helps translate ecological theory and social justice theory into action, into things that they can do in their own home, in their neighborhood, in their community, in the land that they take care of. If whether it's make a compost pile or put in a gray water system or do seed saving or organic gardening or natural building, they come away with the experience of seeing it being done here at the Occidental Arts and Ecology Center. Well, the gardens here are a combination of incredible abundance, beauty, and wildness. There's such a spirit and the food is so alive and it's so beautiful. And when people walk through this pathway, it does something to them. It reconnects them with where their food comes from and how it nourishes them because this food that they eat, sometimes they harvest it and it goes directly into the kitchen and they eat it and it tastes like nothing they've ever had before. Fresh delicious, uh, bursting with flavor. People take everything that they've learned out in the garden, in their classroom, and it all comes together right there on the plate. Oh man, the food has been in, insanely delicious. You can taste that it's fresh from outside the backyard at the farm. It's so good. Everything's from right here. It's just delicious. We just, we really try and um, create a sensory experience that's memorable, that really just helps all of that sink in. Well, now more than ever, people need to see the connection they have with the earth, and so many of us have lost that connection. See, outdoor classroom, a school garden, is really a microcosm of the earth. And children, they're, they're natural naturalists to begin with but especially in the urban areas, a school garden might be the only place they're exposed to those natural processes. So to raise their curiosity, to get them engaged, it is so vital. So the OEC program offers a five-day residential holistic training for teams of teachers, parents, um, garden coordinators, like learning about organic gardening, curriculum integration, design, permaculture, vermiculture, composting, we include all the elements and then they can create their own specific space that they learned here during their exposure to OAC. Sometimes people forget that we are a part of nature. So we begin by understanding the baselines. We learn the plants, we learn the animals, we learn their interrelationships, we learn the cycles of weather and climate and the soils and begin with the foundation of understanding. Tending the wild is a hands-on activity one of the favorite things we do with students in just a few hours, we'll take you into the forest, we'll do a forest thinning and limbing project and take that material and pack these erosive gullies which helps prevent erosion. So not only does that help the salmon down in the river, but keeping soil up on the landscape where it belongs and helping infiltrate water into our aquifer only makes our lives better because we need that water for gardens. I think one of the most important things we do at the Water Institute is really help people with a watershed consciousness. And so how do we support the conservation of water, reduce the demand, and then increase the waste? We can recycle it, reuse it, catch it, store it, and reclaim it. Conservation, gray water, reuse, stormwater harvesting, roof water harvesting, organized at a community level, at a neighborhood, a city, a county, a state level, because how intentional you are with an element such as water is the foundation of the success of your community overall. In addition to the hands-on work that we do out in the community, doing watershed restoration, fever recovery, things like that, we help to build resilient and successful communities by creating, organizing, and advocacy coalitions. OAC is a co-founder of both the California Climate and Agriculture Network and the Wild Farm Alliance. Both offer training and advocacy programs to promote sustainable agriculture, helping to mitigate the climate crisis and restore wild nature. 
Movement Generation Justice and Ecology Project works to build the capacity of racial, economic, and environmental justice organizations in the urban Bay Area and across the country to integrate an ecological analysis into their work around racial and economic justice. For us, ecological justice is the reintegration of human communities as integral parts of thriving, healthy ecosystems. We're living in a time where people are needing to share resources and live in more community. We offer a five-day course at OAC called Starting and Sustaining Intentional Communities that breaks down how you do it, how you figure out the legal and financial, the organizational stuff, the where the garden's gonna go, how do you pull it off, how do you make decisions. Here you'll be experiencing intentional community with us, eating in our kitchen, gardening in our garden with us, swimming in the pond. It's a great starting point when you go back to set up your own. The arts element of the Occidental Arts and Ecology Center is just as important as the ecology part. Our Chautauqua program is in a great blend of our passion for the arts and theater with our passion for social justice and agrarian reform. A beautiful community festival that's all about positive transition. And enjoy it, have a great time. Because without celebration and art, the revolution's no fun. <laughs>